Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at connecting the Nintendo Power Glove to an Xbox Series S. Now a couple of weeks ago I did a video on connecting the Power Glove to the Nintendo Switch and driving around the toy Mario Kart from the home circuit game. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll put a link down in the description below. Check it out as I go into a little more history about the Power Glove in that video. But essentially we're going to be using this NES to USB adapter from Retro USB. This is the only commercially available Nintendo adapter that I know of that works with the Power Glove, but it essentially it will turn Nintendo controllers into generic USB controllers, which is great if you're on a desktop operating system, but when you're using it with consoles, they tend to only work with their own controllers. That's where the Titan 1 adapter will come into. This mimics Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony controllers, and then you could mix and match different controllers on this end, including generic USB controllers. Also, this has nine memory slots where you can store button remappings and complicated scripts to interact between your controller and the game. So, one thing I want to point out is that the NES to USB adapter maps the finger controls of the Power Glove to something called sliders which is only found on like high-end joysticks for flight simulators. Most software doesn't recognize it. And what's relevant here is that the Titan software doesn't recognize it. So I can't do something as simple as map the finger controls to an A and B button to like jump or fire. So keep that in mind during this video. But for now, let's dive in and see if we can get this to work. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to use the Titan 1 adapter with the Xbox. First thing you're going to do is plug it into the USB port in the front here. And you'll see a little A show up on the LCD screen. That's for authentication. You have to plug in a real Xbox controller into the front of this device in order for it to get the authentication key. And then you can use your alternative controller. So what you need to do to do that is take the batteries out of the controller and plug in the USB cable. This will force the controller into USB mode. And then you'll plug it into the Titan one here and the A goes away. Now we can remove it and put in our alternative controller, in this case the Nintendo to USB adapter that I have the power glove plugged into. And we're good to go. Let's try it out. Okay, so this is the Game Controller Tester. It's a free app in the App Store, and it's very similar to what is built into the Nintendo Switch that I showed off in my last video. So pay attention to the diagnostic stick on the left, and you'll see when I move the glove to the right, it moves right and left and up and down and diagonal and all the way around. So you can see the basic functionality is there. So let's try it off on a game. Okay, so if we're going to play a game on the Xbox with the Power Glove, we're going to have to go with the signature game series for this console, that of Halo. In this case, Halo Infinite. So as you can see, I can walk forward. I can walk backwards. I can walk to the right, to the left. I have a couple buttons mapped here, uh, one to jump and one to fire. So uh, let's address the elephant in the room here, and that is that I don't have a second stick to turn right or left or aim with, because that's how all modern first-person 3D games are. Now, if we were back in the 90s with a Nintendo 64 or a Dreamcast where you had one stick that did your movement, aiming, and turning, this would be a lot more playable. As it is, it's more of just a neat little uh, experiment. Running. And you'll see the problem we'll run into is that I can't turn. I can only kind of just go left in order to um, go up these stairs here. And that's kind of the problem with it. The game would basically be unplayable. But, you know, you can move around. The glove does work in that function, and I can jump and shoot with these buttons. 
But uh, why don't we try out something uh, with a little more simple controls. Okay, so I originally was going to do some sort of racing game, but most of them I found in Game Pass were too realistic. You'd spin out too easily or get stuck in a wall. If you're going to play a racing game with a power glove, you need more of an arcade style crash and run type game. So fortunately, I found this snowboarding game called Shredders, and it's great because for one, I don't have to worry about acceleration. I was going to have to write a script with a racing car game where when I press the acceleration button, it stayed engaged to give me gas so I could keep going. Here I don't have to worry about that because you're just uh, snowboarding downhill. And it's got real simple controls. In fact, some of the levels, all you do basically is go in between flag gates or you take out flags, which is the level I'm going to do here. So there's 10 small flags you're supposed to take out and then one big one at the end. There's no way with the power glove I'm going to get all 10 of these. You have to use kind of broad strokes with the power glove, and so you wind up going too far and then overcompensating on your way back. So if I was to get five out of the 10 small flags, that would be an awesome game. So let's just see how I do here. There's one. Whoa. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that one. Six out of ten, that's amazing. Let's get the big one down here. Wow, six out of ten. Well, there you go. So like the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to give this a partial pass. We definitely can get it hooked up and play certain games with it, but without the ability to map the fingers to like A and B for simple controls, well, it's just sort of a bummer. I'm going to continue to work on that. I have reached out to the Titan community as well as to Retro USB. So far, I've heard nothing back, but I hope to get this resolved sometime in the future. As always, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe, but that's all for now. Take care.